This video is short, but I think very helpful if you're ever making any kind of crocheted character hats. Uh, that could be anything from turkeys to uh, penguins, uh, anything, little ducks or, or chickens or anything where you need to have a beak. And again, it's not difficult. It doesn't take much time. Uh, and this video will show you how to do that. And right now I am using just a regular uh, number four weight yarn in yellow and beaks many times could be in orange or yellow uh, but I'm going to be using this and to start with um, I'm also using an H crochet hook um, it could be any size hook that you wanted to get the effect that you wanted you could use whatever yarn you wanted also but in this case I have the number four uh, medium weight yarn with the um, H crochet hook and what you do to start with is to make your slip knot put it on your crochet hook and what you want to do here to start out you're starting with the point of the beak and so you're going to make two chains then you go to the second chain from the hook and make two single crochets chain one and turn your work now in the very first stitch of that row that you just made you're going to make two single crochets in the same stitch moving to the second stitch of that row go underneath your V's make two more single crochets and if you take a look at this it's almost like this is the point of the beak right here with row one and row two now chain one turn your work and in the first stitch don't skip any stitches do two single crochets what we're doing you can see is that we are increasing on each row but we don't want to increase too much so the next two stitches are single crochets so single crochet single crochet and two single crochets in the last stitch. Now if I'm making a really small hat or if it's kind of a little small face on on the um, hat this is a big enough beak and you could just do a chain cut off your yarn pull it through and leave enough so that you have something to sew it onto the hat but this could be a perfectly fine small little beak. If you need one the, um, for a bigger hat or you want a bigger beak this is the most typical size where you would do another chain make another row here Let's see if I can get some more yarn there we go and on the first stitch do two single crochets for that increase and then do a single crochet in each of the next four stitches and at that point you should have one stitch left and do two single crochets and there you have your beak if you want to make it a little taller I wouldn't increase any more but I would just chain one turn and do single crochets all across the top but this is a pretty typical size to finish do one chain pull out maybe 12 or 15 inches of yarn pull that through and you're set this will be the what you sew your beak on with this end just take your yarn needle and you're just going to work in your loose ends turn it to the back and just kind of work it in the way you always do trying not to pull too tight to you want to keep some kind of a point but kind of work that through the different rows turning and I sometimes come back on it go the other way 
Trim that off. And there you have your beak. All ready to go. This is Chris Long at Lakeview Cottage Kids, hoping that helps you with some of your character hats.